Hey guys, here's another update for Journey for the Crown. And in this video, I wanted to show you how I went about and added footstep sound effects to uh, this big, huge dragon I've got. Um, and I'm feeling quite generous today, so I was also going to attach the script um, to uh, the description of this video. So feel free to click on that link and uh, you can apply it to your projects. Um, so how I basically went about and did this, and there's so many different ways you can uh, add footstep sound effects to enemies and characters in your game. Um, like one common route is to actually use the animator itself and, uh, and 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 actually go into the animation and add some script into there. I opted for a route which was just all script, um, and it doesn't require me to do that to all my different characters. I simply attach it to the character itself and set a, a small delay for each step that is being played. Um, so I'll show you quickly on how this this sounds. Let me just uh, unpause this here. Here he goes, boom, boom, boom. Oh, he's gonna do a tail swipe. So I was really happy with that result. Let me uh, let me just pause this so we don't have to talk through all those tail swipes he's gonna do. Um, so essentially, here is the, uh, the the dragon that I have in the game. Um, there's a whole bunch of other stuff in here, so you can just ignore that because this script works independently from all the uh, the scripts that I have for him that make a move around and all that stuff. So this this will work independently from that and all you have to do is uh, uh, attach it to the parent object of your character or bad guy, whatever it is you want this to work for and set these variables accordingly. Um, in my case, I, I have an audio source here which you, you could essentially use uh, uh, here but in my case, I'm using it for something else. So I just added a new audio source um, as a child to this dragon and it's just a empty object with an audio source attached to it so that that allowed me to have multiple sound effects on him so the the animator is is where it all comes from um, and in my case the animator is attached to the parent uh, if if for some reason yours is attached elsewhere which uh, I don't know if that could even be possible. Um, I can show you in a second where to uncomment this because I have it, um, it automatically grabs it from here and just applies it to this variable. The step delay is the the delay between the, the sound effects that are being uh, applied. So every time you hear the that that is this delay in here. So you could increase it or reduce it depending on the, uh, the actual character you have and customize it so it sounds like uh, it's being applied properly. Uh, these default clips here, just to give a little bit of variety, I added more than one because I found if you just had one repeating over and over, it did sound a bit cheesy. So I've added in a couple extra ones just to give it some variety. Now when you are doing this, you want to make sure that they aren't too different. Like for instance, this one here, and this one here, they, they, they are like, uh, when I first started, that this was the combo that I ended up using. It was just too different. This one kind of sounds like I'm stepping on leaves. And this one just kind of sounds normal. So I, I opted to use these three instead. Because they all kind of sound the same. Slightly different. So that, that'll give you a little bit of variety, but make sure you don't go too crazy on the differences between them. Um, otherwise, it, it, it doesn't sound good. So let me show you the script and how it basically works. Um, oh, just uh, while I remember, the if you do have the animator elsewhere, just uncomment this so it doesn't automatically change it on you when you start the game. Uh, here's basically those public variables that you just saw in the inspector. There's a couple hidden ones here that you don't really need to know about. Um, so how it works is right off the bat, I start this looping coroutine. Um, so 
how that works is once this fires, it essentially we'll just keep doing it over and over and over um, and waiting for that step delay. So once once this starts, it's going to go through here once, and then it's going to have to wait that po 0.4 delay, and then it'll do it again and again and again. It's a very, very uh, powerful function that you should get familiar if, uh, if, if you're looking to do coding, that sort of thing. Core teams are awesome. Um, and how how this basically works is, in my case, I'm checking the animator for a state. In, in this case, it's run or uh, walking or stealthing. So you could you could add even more in here just by using the uh, the or statement. Uh, and then I, I basically choose between three variables or in, integer variables. And once it finds one, it just picks a new default clip, which are those different sound effect clips. Once it finds it, it applies it to the audio source and then plays it. If you're not on this state, it doesn't do anything, it just stops the audio source. And then it repeats and repeats and repeats. So that's basically how it works. It's not a crazy function or anything. Um, and, and just thinking, like, if, if you had a, a, a different case where you wanted to even, uh, like, apply a swimming effect, you could, you could add that in here just by doing another else if statement, changing that to swimming. You probably wouldn't need all this stuff. Um, you'd have to change the default clips. Let's just say that's three, four, five, and then up in here, just add those new variables. And you'd, you'd have to go back to your inspector which once you compile that, it'll show up in here and just add in those swimming sound effects below here. And now you, you got yourself a, a badass swimming sound effect too. Um, that would also have to be uh, inside your animator in order for that to work and it would check the state and just like magic, that would work. In my case, I don't need that, so I'm just gonna undo it all, but just to show you uh, some customizing, if, if that's what you're looking for, you could totally do that. So let me know in the uh, the comment fields what you think, and um, I'll be posting a couple other videos too, and uh, I hope to see you guys in uh, in some of those videos too. Okay, thank you.